Is the episode starting right now? Oh. <laughs> Come on down and listen to the party. Yes, it has. We got Tone, Tom, Nick, Pat, Connor, Cubis, Z, Big Motor, Jay, and Evan. I need the slippery noodles. I need the slippery noodles. The noisy noodles. If you don't, then you're a sellout. Buddy, you're a stew. Mint fuming. Round of yeah. applause. Again. Here comes the boys. I'm Tone Diggs. Okay. What's up, dude? making sure. Program's not on these TVs, but I can see it on that TV. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. We're good. That a baby Tony. I was going to say, you're okay? Tony. I thought you had a stroke. Tony. 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 I wasn't looking. Sorry. He's foaming at the mouth. Welcome to the pod. Call me a cowboy. I am Tone Diggs again. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, that's Boston Connor. Mm-hmm. It's been tough to see him. What were we um, about? Ty Schmidt's next to him. Mm-hmm. Hi, you. Nick Marauder's on the couch. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 mm. yes, yes. In the back room is Bubba Gumpino. Good day, Tony. Michael Mincer. What's up, baby? And Mitt McMahon. Hello. How you doing? Mitch, you ever figure out figure out that uh <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Yeah. Did you ever figure out finger it out. Actually, this may play in both ways. You okay. Ever, <laughs> did you figure out the breathing underwater thing? Oh yeah. I did not figure that out yet. Well, I'm still stuck. Dude, there, dude, what? Do yourself a favor, fill your bathtub up tonight. Go underwater and blow some bubbles. Well, I, I just I He's going think, to drown, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying I was to kill this about man. That. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. I'd, wor- I'd worry about Mitt drowning in a sink. <laughs> Mitt, you open your mouth up underwater all the time and just try to breathe in? Or- <gasps> yeah, actually, well, that's what I was going to say. I actually like tried to do it, and uh, it didn't work. Oh, you did try to yeah, do I it? I did it in the, did the bathtub thing already. Done. Yeah, pretty fucking big bathtub, dude. Uh, dude, Mitt, um, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't dude? believe you, Yeah, man. you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't do shit. No, yeah, you're right. I know. Was Go over to your buddy's pool. <laughs> dude, it's closed now. Go to Nick's house, dude. Oh, no. no. Absolutely not. You go for a soul. Oh, yeah. Absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, the jacuzzi mitt. I tried to befriend <laughs> Mitt, you know, bring him on as one of my own. He helps produce That's Hockey Talk. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker turns around and becomes a Washington Capitals fan out of nowhere. Oh, just oh, talk. Yeah. Fucking Mitt. Yeah, he's a yeah. slap oh, dick. Oh, he's a yeah. slap dick. Hey, he's making OV, fun dude. of the game. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Ovi, dude. Ovi tonight. Fucking love Ovi. Last night. Let's Fucking go. breaking <laughs> news. Tiger Woods is out indefinitely after undergoing a fifth back surgery. Probably after watching part two of that documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Took him. <laughs> fell off the couch. <laughs> Took him back. I assume he was pounding something. Pounding <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. Pound. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pounding Hold touch. Hold on. <laughs> Flip, flip over. Flip over. I need to go on my back. If I've heard correctly about the documentary, and if we know Tiger, he was... He blew his back out, blowing someone else's back yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. An eye for an eye. <laughs> soul for a soul, you know? Should we go full golf news today? Because there was a huge story about uh, Angel Cabrera oh, over man. the weekend. What did he really? do? Smoke six? The Brazilian legend. Yeah, uh, smoking six. No, he was on Interpol's red notice Tax list. Evasion? Whoa. Uh, he was arrested red notice, for, red what was notice. it? Uh, assault, theft, intimidation, and disrespect to authorities. Can't have that. Well, He's been a fugitive in God. Argentina since last <laughs> August. Not much a of an angel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! I'd love to be a fucking fugitive, dude. Would you talk? I don't know. I don't think. Yeah. I don't it think depends so. on what from what country. Because, well, yeah. If, if he's been a fugitive sk- from Argentina, and they haven't caught him in like a year. He's been playing tournaments. Who do you think? Who do you think's the greatest fugitive of all time? Whitey Bulger? No. Fucking DB Cooper, dude. Fucking Underwood, DB Cooper. Frank? Yeah. Frank was a fugitive. No, nah, it's not the name. Carrie? Frank? <laughs> uh, Frank Abagnale. Frank Abagnale. There it is. Thank Frank you, Underwood. boys. <laughs> Frank E. Yeah, Frank. I know for sure. Franklin and Tommy Bass. Lee Jones. Like Tommy Lee 15. Jones is the greatest fucking fugitive of all time. No, he was the marshal. Yeah, yeah the marshal. Yeah, Harrison climb. Ford. Harrison was the Ford. Harrison Ford. <laughs> and it's Ford. Yeah. Yeah. I get U.S. Marshals and and fugitive confused I, I quite mean, a bit. That fucking. Oh, it wasn't we're me. Talking about real life. It was, was the one guy man. inside man. I mean, oh, yeah. that guy was hell of a fucking con. Oh, Harry Stamper. <laughs> yep. the, he's an American hero. <laughs> a global hero. Very, very dead. Global hero. Global hero. Of course, but yeah, Tony. You know. 
Tony. Yeah, yeah Tony, Tony. Being a fugitive would be cool if you had like the fucking skill set of Jason Bourne, but you do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me ask ask you a question and then answer said question. Okay. Do I have a go bag? Yes, I do. Okay, that's fair. Oh. That's fair. And a pistol. So yeah, he is. Well, and you can't can't normally have a pistol in your go bag because you're. I mean, you're gonna. You may have to get on public transportation. Oh, so you got to carry it. I mean, you also don't know. Like, if Tony were to become a fugitive, he might turn into Jason. Yeah, Bourne, I know. Like he's you know? a he's you know? a sleeper agent. Like <laughs> exactly. he went through fucking Blackwater and all yeah. that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm one registered. fake passport away from being ready to go. What would be your fake passport name? Dutch MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I do believe the fake passport is the key piece of the entire well, yeah, operation. I, I, I also I, agree, but it's hard to yeah. find guys that make them. Yeah. Remember the next three days, fucking Russell Crowe got beat down trying to get him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I recall. That's a that good a, movie, I believe that friends. was a 412 movie. You also need like yeah. a good safe with uh, different types of foreign currency. Well, yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 Took I off in a, took off in a penguin's coat. No. I have a frunk in my safe right now. Just flip someone a shilling and be fine. Take, take this, my good man. <laughs> yeah, take me to Italy. <laughs> Sorry, that's not how it works. Uh, I beg Sir, to differ. this is 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, so put me on the plane. <laughs> and I say, yeah, and then I f- flip out my passport, and he sees Dutch MacGyver, and he's like, get in the car. Get him out. <laughs> get this guy to Italy right now. That's where you're going, right, dude? Exactly. Dutch MacGyver. <laughs> Either it, or, it, or Thailand. I feel like I have to succeed Thailand. in Thailand. Yeah, you stick out like a sore thumb, though. It's true. <laughs> it was this fucking nah, guy. Dude, I'm wearing fucking hat and glasses and a giant beard. Yeah, exactly. And you're <laughs> an elf <laughs> giant white guy over there. You're saying, Jesus <laughs> Christ, that's Dutch MacGyver. My skin gets very <laughs> awful. Holy shit, yeah, that's Oliver this. Platt. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> they must be shooting a movie over here. My <laughs> God, that's Tom Segura. <laughs> I like it. Bill, shut the fuck up. Whoa. Whoa, Bill. Speaking of Thailand, Soy Check came out with a single. I'm pretty sure I saw. Did he really? I thought I, there was a. It was a, in That's the DMs nice. a lot, but I didn't think we could play it. So fucking too Columbus bad. Blue Thank Jackets God. giving him some play too. Yeah, Soy Check, yeah, he's blowing up mainstream. Yeah. That now old I, fucker jumped the shark. He's done. No it's one a gives shame. We have, to, we have to toss him overboard now. No one gives a damn about right. him anymore. Yeah. Good run. Good run. <laughs> Good yeah. run. First. Maybe you should take those fucking chompers of his and like rip open a coconut or something. I'd watch that video, yeah. but <laughs> eat a whole watermelon. Yeah, that'd be sweet. You know? Where would you guys fucking uh, uh, escape to? Escape to fucking Belgium, dude. Belgium's a great country. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking Very like country. the most lawless place in the world, fucking Colombia or some shit. Ooh, Detroit. Colombia's actually yeah. cleaned up quite well. Really? Yeah. Oh, then I go yeah. fucking like to the Galapagos. I'll take Smart. Panama. Yeah. Hide with the turtles. Yes. I might go to Nam. Hang out with soy. <laughs> yeah. Shoot some videos. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, and then he'll cook you and eat you. <laughs> yeah, right. Hell of a way to go. <laughs> yeah. So it's better than jail. So it's gonna split Nick up with fucking Army Hammer. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man, hey, uh, f- what was her name? Bella Hadid, I believe, came out actually defending Army. Did Let's she go Army? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, that's bullshit. <laughs> His girlfriend's crazy. He did not try to eat me. Yeah, actually, she, she came out and said that. Oh, so he didn't get the second base with Bella. So we're not. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so they never actually progressed. <laughs> like, I mean, it's real. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> I feel like there's there's a. Uh, Compiling evidence. Uh huh. I actually turned the social network on, and it was uh, as well as compelling evidence. Yes, it's not. It's not the same. <laughs> it wasn't really. <laughs> it really wasn't. It's like, oh my god, wait, that guy. That guy wants to hold toes in his pockets. Yeah. That guy. That guy hey, wants to eat, eat hearts. hearts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, he want, he wanted a human rabbit's foot. Yeah. He uh, one of his girlfriends, one of the few people that came out. She said, yeah. He asked me to cut off one of my toes <laughs> so he could keep it in his pocket at all times. It's a simple request. I yeah. mean, that's love. I mean, hey. <laughs> Whatever. Just wanted to hang it from his rearview mirror. Yeah, basically. Yeah, much. Some people like to play with things in their hands. Little fidget spinners. Yeah, He's that's a big army. toe guy. Mm-hmm. Helps with this anxiety, man. Man, army. Should have started Facebook. I feel like yeah. Mitt probably similar to Army Hammer. If I had to guess. You think? I do not fucking eat people. <laughs> oh, well, Good that confirms it. <laughs> yeah, but you were talking about how you love eating butthole. 
Yeah. That is also just not. <laughs> you <laughs> say that. He says that, that all the time. Not. You yeah. said you sat down, you put on a fucking napkin, tucked it into your shirt. <laughs> yeah. I like the red meat. Dude, I love eating butthole. Like dude. a pie eating contest. It's Met, so good. Nom, e- nom, nom. <laughs> Mitt's eating ass with a lobster bib on? <laughs> yes, he is. He actually has a portable spoon in his <laughs> pockets at all times. And snap, mm-hmm. snap rocks. Uh-huh. Instead of the lobster, it's just two Bob bob rocks. Bob rocks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the record, I have never eaten ass, but no. Well, You're still young. You said earlier. Yeah. Well, you ever had Pop Rocks? Fun. I have had Pop Rocks. Is it similar, Donnie? <laughs> well, wait, oh, if you pour Pop already, Rocks in there, yeah, it's yeah. very similar. <laughs> it's already compared. <laughs> Mate, you ever put Mentos into a two liter bottle of Coke? Yeah, I did that in like second grade. I think. That's what eating butts like, buddy. Oh, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> All right, let's get a pop on. <laughs> Uh, Apple may bring back the Touch ID for next year's iPhone. Woo! Let's go, baby! Yeah. It's people like you are holding us yeah. back. We prevail. I can we tell you why. We brought it back. I can tell you why. It's Please a real do. simple explanation. You ever try to open up your iPhone with your mask on? It's terrible. Mm. Yeah, but I thought they said they were going to like develop technology so that it could just... Oh, they know, did say that? Retinal scan? Yeah. yeah, let's keep advancing. See, that's Let's not thing. go backwards. If they did advance to a retinal scan, then I would I would level up. You guys didn't just add your face ID to the, your face with the mask on? Add your face with the mask on to your face ID? So oh, no, because then any, God, any, stooge, any stooge with a mask on could get in. Well, His head just exploded. <laughs> yeah, 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 it actually, it, 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 it saw that one. Oh. Any future girlfriend of Army Hammer's might be fucked if he cuts off a thumb. <laughs> there oh, goes that privacy. Yeah. Make sure you get all three fingers at least. I don't yeah, want that know. stupid little button back, dude. It stinks. Well, isn't, that was like the biggest reason why they could make them waterproof, I thought, too. It was oh. like they got rid of the button, and that was like a, a big, you know, Huge. stone that they had to get over. Buttons can't be waterproof. Buttons cannot be waterproof. Buttons cannot be waterproof. By their nature, buttons can be You know what would be a good, a good feature? I just discovered this with my Apple Watch. If, I'm, if my Apple Watch is on while I'm on my computer, it'll automatically unlock the computer. They should do that with the phone and the Apple Watch. Hmm, if you're wearing do. it, just do a little fucking flick, and you're unlocked. Hmm. I actually don't hmm. do. Still think we should just have a chip, but. Oh, like imp- we're all getting on your time. hand. Yeah, we're all getting. It's already hand. actually in you. Yeah. yeah, when you get the vaccine, you get the chip. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Good really? luck. Can't wait. Is it like the microbes? No, they actually shoot it through your pee hole. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, been there. Mm. Have you? Dark times. Through it or into? <laughs> through. Vertically or through the hole? Parallelly. Parallelly. You never had a catheter <laughs> tone? No. Th- Thankfully, you never got an not. old STD test? You never had a catheter? No. They actually go Prince Albert right through the side of the head. Yeah. Out, the other, I thought. out the other side. Yeah. yeah. Looks like a fucking tongue ring. Yes, it does. Yeah. I, the test that I've had to take, Michael, was just a blood test. Yeah. That oh, was, back in the day, dude, yeah, the swab. Yeah, yeah thankfully, get, we've graduated past they that. They get right in there, pal. Ugh. Uh, you, you fucking dirty sailors down the dock, <laughs> <Yeah>. dude. You <laughs> 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 test it every week. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, they should. The filthy beggars are going from port to port. <laughs> uh, next. I don't know if you guys saw, but they moved up Godzilla vs. Kong like two months. Oh, we yeah. saw. Are you guys talked about this already? No, yeah. we didn't, but no. this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the <laughs> premiere event. This is going to save the movie. Yeah, it really is. It's cool. I was. It's on HBO Max. It's not going to save anything. It's going to save movies. It's going to save movies, dude. Yes. It's going to save the industry. It's going to set. It's going to be like <laughs> movies. I I can't wait till this movie. I can't wait till we get to March 26 and you stooges are tweeting about how you're watching this movie from your couch. That new yeah. Denzel oh, yeah. movie I mean, looks incredible. Whispers of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Gumpy, we're talking about Godzilla, <laughs> and King Kong, scumbag. Here. King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> the name of it? No, we were just the little about things. <laughs> you fuck. Whispers, no, no. Whispers. I can tell you what, though. Help you, Within the next three years, there will be a major <laughs> called Whispers of Nothing, <laughs> and it's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be an out this summer. <laughs> See, Nick, are you going to watch this on your Oculus, you think? Oh, I might have to <laughs> yeah. be in the mix. Because it's like IMAX. Be hanging from King Kong's dong. See, uh. here's what I have an issue with in this this said photo here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that Kong is just as tall as Godzilla. And that is just 
Oh, yeah, you were defending Inaccurate. Godzilla, weren't yeah. you? Well, we did look up the stats, and yeah, Godzilla, Godzilla was like much 70 larger. feet taller. Yeah. Yeah. Much, much so bigger. So there's a new Kong. Yeah, things yeah. can change. New and improved. Improved. Yeah. Tony, this has to worry you a little bit it's, because it, it does. looks like Kong is throwing a massive right <laughs> hook, and Godzilla <laughs> is I'm not a, ready for it. I mean, he will eat that all day long. Tough to block when your hands can't even touch your nose. The, you thing, that the, more, <laughs> the thing that scares me more here is that Godzilla has not gone hyperactive and he does not have the blue spikes on his back currently. Also, it looks like he's taking a tracer round to the fucking <laughs> knee. knee right now. Which, which is, is fine. Put those, have, I mean, those, have, those have never affected him fucking ever. John C. Riley in the helicopter <laughs> yeah. right now? Is he back? Is bombs? he in this? <laughs> well, he's, I thought he was Kong's boy. I, I don't know if they were friends in that movie or not. They're boys, dude. <laughs> yeah. He like, talks to him. I know Blondie is. Of course. I can't remember the actress. Can't even remember what she looks like. She's <laughs> fucking Brie Larson, Larson dude. Yeah, I thought it was Brie Larson. It was Brie? Yeah. 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 Captain Marvel, dude. This fucking guy. Well, dude. if Kong's got Captain Marvel on his side, yeah. yikes. Yeah. Godzilla is fucked. But <laughs> yeah, Little Whispers. Mm. Whispers of the Night. Whispers of the Night. <laughs> What is the name of the fucking movie? The Little Things. The Little Things. Just said it. <laughs> little Things looks awesome. It does. it does. It does. That comes out soon, too, right? Yeah, end of January. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Did anybody watch the new Anthony Mackie movie? Uh, I didn't, but you said the, that the fucking description really hooked you in, right? It, it looks like it's a banger. It's about a fucking new soldier drone pilot teams up with a new super soldier and that's as far as I got, but hell, it looks amazing. Now, I don't want to say anything bad here. <laughs> Go ahead. And I'm going to pull up the IMDb right now just to make sure. Sure, sure. Has Anthony Mackie been in a, in a great movie besides Hurt Locker and Captain America? And- He's a notorious Eight Mile. Eight Mile. Has he been in a good movie besides <laughs> the six other ones he was in? Where, where, <laughs> where, where are you going with this? Where he's the what lead. What are you trying to say about Where Mackie? he's the lead. Oh, he's up a comer now. Fucking Triple Nine. Took him a while. Ooh, oh, that's what I, I love think, uh, Triple Nine. Not everyone's an A-list. Who off the bat? Mackie, I feel like, has the skills to be in. Yeah. What else is he in? Come on, read him off. Nothing great. His filmography is pretty good, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. But <laughs> What else? But where, when he's the lead... I'm a big Tony Mackey guy. He crushes. I mean, there's. I'm looking for it. Can't find a good lead here. Okay. Is it that big or you can't remember the titles of the movies correctly? That could be part of it. <laughs> Pain oh. and Gain, dude. Oh, oh. Oh. Was he the lead in that? Oh. Or was Wahlberg? To Tony's credit, it does. You know, not everyone's come worrying. out to be the lead. Yeah, he's not he's not a fucking lead actor. Why are they bringing Chris Evans back as Captain America if Anthony Mackey can't? You know, cut it. Is that really why? Go what are you trying to say? Don't fucking spin I'm, this narrative. I'm trying to say that cut it. Tony's yeah. saying that Anthony Mackie can't be a lead. No, what are you saying? Chris Evans coming back. The show Captain didn't even come out yet. America. I'm just. Jesus. It didn't come out yet, and they're already trying to replace him again. Give the guys. They passed the back. shield on, and what? We're not even. What, what are we? A year later, and they're trying to fucking replace him already. Listen, he's great in movies. Real Steel dominated. That's really all that matters, though. Real Steel. As Real far Steel. as I'm <laughs> Real Steel is probably the worst movie I can do there, dude. But you're a huge Jackman guy, so I, you, you'll defend it. Well, I'm also a robot fighting guy. Yeah, true. It was basically like if the, the kaiju robots were smaller and fighting each other in a boxing ring. Mm-hmm. Listen, Mackie knows his role. He plays it well. He doesn't he does. need to be the guy. Yeah, which is worrying, right? That means his new Netflix movie probably blows because he is the guy. Maybe this is his time to shine. Maybe. And we're all going to be blown away and impressed. Maybe. Oh, or maybe it's What's it called? Outside the Wire? Something like that. Yeah, something it's along it, those lines. It's the, only, it's the only movie in 2020 that he's in. Is so. it rated R? Uh, is it called Outside the Wire? Did not Connor? look like Aren't it. Aren't you on his goddamn it IMDb page? <laughs> <laughs> It's like his last Read the goddamn movie. print, dude. Yeah. It's at the top it's of the page. Netflix. Is the uh, description in the near future a drone pilot sent into war zone finds himself paired with a top secret android officer? There it is. <laughs> it's Outside get- the water. So it's the same as it's, it's get- the same plot as Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It's getting a 5.0 on IMDb. I don't know if that's okay. Solid oh yeah, of course. How it's many not ratings? It's not great. How many ratings? How many ratings? Yeah. Uh, twelve thousand. 
That's a lot. Okay. Well, it looks but it like hasn't come out yet either. No, no, it's on Netflix. Oh, so all we're saying yeah. is, is this give Mac the movie a of the week? This is the Nef- This is the movie on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna watch it because I, I I vowed to watch every Netflix movie of the week. You should. I'll give it a shot. Next, I, I'm gonna try it, but you should try it. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> <sighs> if you could only eat meat from one animal for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Chicken. I mean, turkey. You're not going to not have turkey on Thanksgiving. Oh, man. Chicken. There's I can't, no I can't turkey. Eat turkey. <laughs> oh, wow. dude, it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> dude, <laughs> was turkey, not dude. A I think it's a cow. You got burgers. You got steak. Yeah. What about pig? Yeah, I was going to well, say. Well, pork chop. Pork chop. No, and bacon, bacon for the rest bacon. of your life. I know. Ribs. What? <laughs> I guess you, you could do, do a lot. Ribs. You can do a lot with chicken. Couldn't do beef ribs, but. Man. I had ribs on Sunday. There I don't know. It'd be tough never having a steak. It would. If you never had chicken strips again, dude. I'm going chicken. Thank Need you. the wings. Yeah. Need them. Wingies. Strippies. I'm going to figure out a way to do beef wings. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> yeah. right. Just a fucking cow leg. Just one massive <laughs> wing. That, that would be awesome. I so could think about that. Tenderloin yeah. wing. <laughs> shit. I mean, if they could take the bone out of a wing. Well, who says we can't put a bone into a fillet? How about that? It's right. buffalo wings Actually, there are bone in fillets. <laughs> what do you say, dude? It's buffalo wings made from a real buffalo. Something Ooh, to think about. Buffalo. Something to think about. I like it. I haven't had a good I think I'm steak going cow, in a while. Though. Now that we talk about I'm it. I'm going cow. Because you can do burgers. Mm-hmm. You can do, you know, ground up meat. You with can, oh, ground meat tacos. A.K.A. tacos. A.K.A. tacos. Do shred- chicken tacos. That's yeah, shredded chicken. There's you no, can, there's in no world is chicken tacos better better than uh, ground beef. Uh, Bingo. Oh, that's you right. fucking that's right. take a walk, that's right. dude. Right as you may be. No, the fact no, that you no. can still enjoy tacos with chicken. It is true. Nice. There's Go something ahead. to be said for. Yeah, true. It definitely helps chicken. Chicken noodle soup. But give me that cow, oh. baby. But you got beef too. Give me that cow. Chicken parm. Cheeseburger soup. Oh, chicken. I don't think we could do fillet parm. I mean, for sure, yeah. you're gonna run out of Prime money rib, in a dude. week, Tony. Filet fucking bro. tender Maybe loin some wings. Feel, but. Mm-hmm, yeah, oh, we, well, that's not. Trust me, I, I'm, I may cook up a New York strip <laughs> strip parm this week. Covered in red sauce. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Who, Who says, says no? no? <laughs> not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> After a it's gonna be fucking bags. awesome, dude. No one's picking fish, huh? No. Uh, I would do salmon. I just figured it was only saying meat. On this show, <laughs> no, let's I just mean. say on this show that salmon and fish is a meat. I mean, if we're saying fish is a meat, which it's not, which it's not, yeah, then I'd go salmon. What is your reasoning for fish not being a meat? It's in the sea, dude. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a fish. Uh, there are some excellent meat substitutes for those oh, of you that Jesus. might not oh, know. Get them out. Shut Get them out. Oh, Get them out. Get them out. Says the guy who gets fucking double chicken, double steak from Chipotle yeah, every yeah. day of the week. Fucking Sucking down coffee tarts out there like yeah. it's goddamn job. Triple yeah. lunch, Bill. Seriously. These caramels are quite good. Yeah, Bill, no joke, ate. I, I watched him in like a four minute period. He ate like 18 caramels. Yeah. He was just fucking. <laughs> like two cups of coffee yeah. worth yeah. of goddamn caramel. He's like, Bill, are you like a fucking squirrel? His fucking yeah. cheek. He was just chewing caramel <laughs> Relax, for like dude. 25 minutes. I will say that those chocolate caramel Santas that Tony brought in were quite delicious. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't get and to I, fucking have one because you no one inhaled else them like a yeah. fucking vacuum. I did eat all eight of the ones in the bag, so. Scumbag. Go to hell! Those were gifts. <laughs> Painting was a gift. Next. Painting's a gift, Todd. Wait, now that Bill loves caramel. Oh, no, before we move on. Um, okay, let's say. Let's <laughs> say. <And> penis. <laughs> Let's say fish. Let's say we're including fish, Connor. Are you going fish? Yeah, I'm going salmon. Just salmon? Just salmon? Not yeah. even, you don't even want, like, the shrimp and stuff? Oh, I can just have it all? I can just have the ocean? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the ocean. Yeah, that, Calamari. If, who's coming over? If that's, yeah. if that's on the table. Lobster. I mean. Crap. Do I have to keep going? Yeah, give me the ocean of food. You know, I might take the ocean because every once in a while, once in a while, cow falls in the ocean. Exactly. Yeah. Scoop them up. Drowns Sorry. In the ocean. Sorry. You can't, you can't have the whole ocean. It was, it was animal. Swordfish. I mean, God. It was an like ecosystem. It was what animal? You give me the ocean, I'm, st- I'm not taking it. Thanksgiving's going to be a little different, but fuck. going to have every type of fish out there. Yeah. 
What do you have? A, uh, it's pretty. Oh, so you'll be enjoying the seven fishes. You're saying. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have a crab cake burger. You're gonna have a crab cake burger. Oh, crab cake burger. <laughs> <laughs> Krabby Patty Burger Krabby Patty But I have a fucking starfish there just for show Look You guys that. can't do that Mahi 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 oh. Mahi Look at that Ahi tuna sandwich Fish and chips Ooh. How you doing? I hate fish and chips But <laughs> Why do you hate fish and chips, dude? I don't know I just never liked it Really? Oh, yeah, I don't like it So you don't like fried fish? I mean, I had it at Long John Silver's <laughs> one time There explains it <laughs> Did you have hush puppies? Did you have hush puppies? So, so maybe I'm being a We're tough fucking critic. A and W fruit beer float with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I shit for three days. Yep. Uh, That's update. Long John, baby. <laughs> That's long John. Update a pig- the pigeon story. Mm-hmm. Turns out the uh, leg band on the pigeon that said it was coming from the U.S. was a false. <laughs> Whoa. Pigeon was from Australia. Pigeon gets to survive. The they, plot thickens. No, nah, they should still wipe this thing out just to be cautious. Cover all your bases. You can't take any chances. No. Eliminate this thing. Even though a pigeon racer human being from Seattle did say that it was his pigeon. But I think he might be a liar. Take him out, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just in case. Collateral. What are you mm-hmm. racing pigeons for, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking Bitcoin, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what? How far do they race you? <laughs> Bitcoin? Yeah, 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 I already winner. said. Yeah. Now the winner gets 70,000 pounds of bird feed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Racing for birdhouses? That's probably what it is. That'd be awesome. Holy fuck, your bird loose in there? I'll race you for it. <laughs> <laughs> for bird slips. They race for bird slips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That Next. is sweet. I might get a pigeon. Why not? Just sn- Taking people's homes. A uh, California man lived inside O'Hare Airport security zone for three months. <laughs> this guy. This is a it's a hell of a run. Trick. This guy I think lived I, in the airport because he was things. scared to go on a flight. And then you literally lived in the airport for three months. It's like That's Tom Hanks wild. in the terminal. He was scared of COVID, though. And then you lived in an airport. No one was traveling in to his defense. Did he get COVID? No. If he didn't get COVID, I think you chalk this up as a W. This guy, is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he may have figured Superhero. it out. I mean, yeah, looking at his face, I don't think he's taking a win here. It'd be pretty easy to live in an airport for three months, right? Yeah, <clears throat> kid, I don't know. People sleeping there all the time. He yeah, got it's no, so, so expensive. He, he, he got somebody's credentials and was actually living like in a like oh. secluded area, basically. Oh. Was, oh. Living in like the jail. Yeah, he had he had like no, he had like access to oh, whatever Martin. he wanted. <laughs> it would Jason cost Martin. you like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars to have every meal inside <laughs> yeah. of an yeah. airport Jesus. for three months. He was, he was water, getting food bucks. from people. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Damn. People were giving him food, like other passengers. No. He was homelessing it in yeah. the airport. <laughs> This guy pulled off an incredible See, finesse. I, I wish he would have done it like my man Victor Navorsky. Just fucking make some money collecting luggage carts. You know, you do, do your airport side hustle just to make some money. Bronco Nagurski. You want this guy that? to work yeah. at the airport? Who Bronco Nagurski did do like? that, yep. He looks like Gumpy. Get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here, you scumbag. He looks like he came off an FBI profiler list. Fuck Dave Cathcart. <laughs> <laughs> Gumpy's cousin. I mean, I'd love to just live in an airport TGIF Fridays for yeah, three sweet. months. Give, give, me a, a beer. give me a chili. How many day pounds of, the of potato skins would you Thou- eat? Thousands. Oh. Thousands and thousands. I, I would venture down to Chili's, though, every, every once in a while. I love Chili's. Me too. I love Chili's. They got great tendies. I miss a good airport meal. Yeah. I think oh, I might kill myself if I have to spend more than two full days in an airport. Oh, man. Yeah, you're not trying day. to leave. You got nowhere to go. So it's like you're not missing your flight. Where was this guy initially flying to, though, when he got here? And he was just like, you know, what, well, fuck it. I'm gonna Bangladesh. It, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair. So I understand why he was afraid of COVID. I heard it's running rampant over yeah. there. Yes. They're getting slaughtered. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's Bangladesh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, are you right? <laughs> He's fucking foaming at the mouth. <laughs> That's wrong <laughs> time. Next. Man, that guy. Sad news, dude. Liam Neeson uh, announces he's retiring from action movies. God damn it. I mean, it does take a little piss out of it when you realize he is pissing his pants all the time. <laughs> it's like, oh, this guy's an action hero. I mean, 
Didn't he just do his last Fuck one? Fuck you, dude. dude. drinks three beers and pisses his pants. Fucking <laughs> hero. <laughs> 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 I was going hero. through a lot, dude. Yeah. He looks good for 68, though. He does. Oh, yeah. yeah he's Liam Neeson. Oh, what, I mean, yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, of course he's going to look good as Liam Neeson. So his last film, which I've seen commercials, uh -huh. The Marksman. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. looks pretty good, dude. Hell yeah. I mean, you have to see it now. Yeah, it's fucking cornerstone of his career. End of an era. Mm -hmm. Is that actually yeah. what it's called? Yeah, it's okay. called the Marksman. Nice. It's, well, not, I mean, look. it's not whispers in the night. <laughs> <laughs> what that would you What about. would you say his best film was? Oh. Fucking Rob Roy. Honest Thief. Unknown, probably. Mm. Unknown. Schindler's <laughs> List. Schindler's List. Yeah. All time. Probably. Oh yeah. This that. just opens up new avenues for him, though. If you think about it, now he'll just start doing like fucking gangs in New York. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully, he directs the next Daddy's John home Wick. Too. Oh shit, he's in Gangs of New York, isn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah, just for a Priest Valen. Priest Valen. And Taken, I feel like, kind of revived his career. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then they made too many of them. No, no. The Taken yeah. trilogy was incredible. There's only so many times you can display your certain set of skills. If that's if that <laughs> if that run if that run of movies is on cable TV any day of the week, I'm watching it. I mean, he was three. a great Raj Agul. Excellent. That's right. Raj Agul. Raj yeah. Agul. <laughs> Raj, 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 yeah, the name of the tiger in Aladdin. <laughs> Ghoul. <laughs> you know, Raj, Ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> Who actually lives, funny enough, in Bangladesh. <laughs> and that's called Full Circle. Fucking Raj, Al Ghoul. <laughs> Wrath of the Titans. Actually, my favorite role. Wrath of the Titans. <laughs> my favorite role was probably. Fucking Zeus, bat dude. Battleship as Admiral Shane, dude. Mm. Oh, my God. I forgot about Battleship. Hey, you got a Star Wars on, too, right? Qui-Gon oh, Jinn. Qui -Gon. Qui -Gon. It's great. I'm it. actually going to throw my hat in the ring for Star Wars as it's his great. favorite role for me. What about the A-Team, dude? That's right. He was, uh, oh, he was fucking eight. Hannibal. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> he says that like a thousand yeah. times. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's been in a lot of good movies. What a career for Lee Nee. He is a great lead man. Hopefully. So you know, another shot at Mackie. Yeah, Jesus, son of a bitch. Dude. You got some ulterior Good motives. Well, fucking actually, what's your problem with Anthony Mackie? <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> Tony? You know exactly what I mean. Tony will be dancing on his grave come the Oscars when he's like, guess who's not nominated for Best Actor? Because <laughs> he can't carry a fucking movie. Listen, there's only one fucking Tony. And it ain't Mackie. <laughs> exactly. Next. Tom Cruise is so serious about COVID-19 safety on his film set, he's reportedly acquired two mobile robots to patrol the area and administer <laughs> tests. What? Jesus. Thank you, Tom! <laughs> Thank you, Tom! Tanks all of us. If you've ever seen the Scientology uh, documentary, this is basically like, this is the Sea Org, where they just like went out on a ship and yep. made these people just do like terrible manual labor. I mean, this is bad news, but hey, we're going to get a great movie out of it. Hell yeah. <laughs> great. I'm sure these people's lives are miserable. How have I never heard about these robots administering tests until Tom Cruise comes probably, across He them? probably created them. <laughs> so I mean, like, built them is, with he, his own is he ahead of the curve in terms of fighting yes. this pandemic? <laughs> yes, 1,000%. Are medical professionals looking to Tom Cruise's lead? Are they just going around with swabs or are they going around looking for people breaking rules? I don't know. He has the entire fucking industry on his back exactly. right now. You know, all the studios are looking at him. Yes. So it's like, look, if it's gonna Save take a couple, us, two, Tom. yeah, it's gonna take a couple robots to, you know, enforce some rules and crack some skulls. Yeah, yeah that's the price <laughs> he's, he's got to pay. He went home after those two outbursts on the set, Got and just like much. put his head in his hand and just you know I've set so much pressure on me to just save the industry. Just I can't do it. Anymore. Call in the robots. Call Let's get the robots. Man. Get them out. Get him out. I didn't want to have to do this. Maybe they call the robots in. Uh, hey, as long Fucking as we, industry. As long as we get Top Gun this year, I'm in. I mean, yeah. unfortunately. What do you mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just uh, don't think that. I, why wouldn't it come out yet? Yeah. Has there been a, a Cree about it coming out? A what? A Cree? A Cree? What's my credo? Well, yes. <laughs> Deceit. Tell me that. A no. national outcry about <laughs> <laughs> We're creeping out for if it. If there has then it's never happening. Because Tom is going to save the movies and they're going to re release Top Gun in 2022. I'm going to have a good Cree if it doesn't come out. Just well, I mean, I would if I fucking. 
<laughs> Cared? <laughs> I'm going to find out about the Cree for Top Gun. Thank you. Too. Thank you. <laughs> Next. Thanks. People, I saw Zito's mentions. <laughs> and I saw what we were tagged in. People did not people people thought this was a joke that we were telling for months and months and months. People yeah. did not think the Young Walk Rock was true. Yeah. And then it was shown as a commercial during uh football this weekend. Mm-hmm. And people found out that this is not a joke. Mm-hmm. Young Rock is a show. Uh put this in here to get Cito's response. He is not here. Did so. anyone actually watch this? What do you mean? Did anyone not, watch the trailer? Oh, yeah. No, the trailer. Oh, yeah, the trailer is out. I did the not. The trailer's great. How was it, man? Young Rock's it trying was... to crush tequila. I saw dude. in the trailer, I saw him jump from a skyscraper to uh, the um, machine. So that's in there for sure. <laughs> what? Nice, dude. Yep. Great. Uh, yep. To pull. <laughs> it's directly from <laughs> Have none of you shop. seen Skyscraper? Way to really sell what's going on the in the show here. <laughs> Crane, thank you. <laughs> I was, I, skyscraper is great. <laughs> it is. And he jumped 300 yards yeah. with one leg. <laughs> yeah, there's no chance I watch this. So, okay. Back to your Next. original point. In the people's defense, you can't believe a word to what Zito says. <laughs> so they were right to question this all along. I until do. I do. Confronted really, with this truth. I do really enjoy this poster, how the shadow is of old rock. Yeah, the real rock. Oh, I didn't <laughs> notice that, dude. That's... Yeah, that, that's the rock. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah, and then the other three aren't the rock. Yeah, yeah. The show's gonna be awesome. I'm, I can't wait. Next. <laughs> See, it would be sick if they just face swapped the rock's face on every single stage of the character. I like that too. That would be fucking sweet. Yeah. Um. Someone in here said that the hippopotamus was responsible for the most human deaths. Blue that was met in a year. Zero. It's not exactly true. The mosquito is number one, but whenever we're talking about this, we always we know about the mosquito mm-hmm. and the snakes mm-hmm. and, and the dog and the testy fly. The hell's the, the assassin? The hold on, hold on, hold on. No one, <laughs> the no one said no one said anything. <clears throat> the what fly? The testy fly. Oh my god. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> The oh, testy fly. Yeah. The testy the fly. Testy fly. <laughs> it's a good thing for you, Mitt exists. Because sometimes. <laughs> Mitt, do you know what you kind of fly that is? That baton. Testy, Mitt, baby. Mitt, do you know what kind of fly that is? No, I have no fucking clue what that is. Oh, boy. Some, in, some, in some cultures, not this one. In this in our, country. In this country, it's the testy fly. Some cultures, it's a teetsy fly. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> it's Ari Gold's code word. Yeah, Tsitsi fly. It is. Um, what I don't the know, fuck I don't know. kind of freshwater snail is killing 10,000 people a year? <laughs> That's what I'm I would wondering like, as well. I, I like that you just passed over the assassin yeah, bug because you know what that is. Bug. I was going from bottom up and I stopped on freshwater snail. Well, the meat of this like a... chart has me worried. Yeah. The assassin bug is. That's what I'm talking about. The freshwater oh, snail, the assassin bug, the uh, testy fly. So the freshwater Dogs snail carries parasitic worms that infect people with a disease called schizomyiasis. Mitt. The assassin bug. <laughs> what the fuck? Attacks prey and sucks it dry. Ooh. Oof. Kind of turn. Kind of like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bring in the assassin bugs, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, what are these numbers without a denominator, though? Uh, assassin bugs lie in wait for insects and then That's stab right. the prey with her beak and inject a toxin that dissolves the tissue. Jeez. The assassin bug then sucks up the other bug's tissue. <laughs> Femme fatale. Oh, 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 oh. That's how you know you're gonna die. Yeah. Would you, yeah. You hear that? Oh, they only kill. Uh, <laughs> they only kill. <laughs> they only kill humans because they have a parasite in them. Well, how, how's it, how's a tapeworm killing two thousand people? I mean, if you don't realize it's inside of you, it'll suck you dry too. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta get pulled out your ass. You're right. I forgot. I forgot. Anyone in here ever have a tapeworm pulled out of their ass? No, no not yet. No. It's a have those numbers. I'm okay with those numbers though. Two thousand seems reasonable. That snail at 10,000 and that assassin bug <laughs> genuinely worry me. 
Dogs kill 25,000 people a year. I was so fucking confused about that. Who is letting their dog kill them? There's wild dogs, dude, everywhere. What? Not everywhere. <laughs> not everywhere has like a... There's packs of wild dogs <laughs> controlling major American cities. Well, yeah. no, this is the world Wasn't that atlas. A thing recently? If there was a fucking U.S. atlas, then it'd be one thing. Man, have you ever been outside the country? I have been to Mexico once. And you never saw strange... All dogs roaming free. Dude, I was drinking so much booze. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not see a single Did they come dog. for your throat? I saw no animals uh, when I was in Mexico for uh, a week. Did you... Not even a lizard? Do you believe that there are me animals in Mexico? I mean, yeah, there are probably animals in Mexico, <clears throat> but I don't know any of them. I've never seen a wild I dog. I never where met. Are, where are wild dogs at? Come everywhere, on. dude. <laughs> Fucking everywhere. Oh, yeah. What, where do you think they or come or from? It? You think they're just... Or didn't they come from wolves? And then we domesticated <laughs> them? You think they're just like controlled and bred the whole time? Like... I mean, yeah. No, dude, they're a wild dog. Can't just flush one down the toilet. I mean, we got a bunch of wild dogs in, in here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, my jaw just got <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, I just dislocated my jaw. Next. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Who in here has watched the trailer for Nicolas Cage's uh, new movie called Willy's Wonderland? You mean fucking Oscar's best picture this year? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I have I've seen, seen it. it. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's kind of scary. I mean, listen, I love Nicolas Cage. I get it. Oh, um, come on. This Hold looks the phone. Come like on. fucking horse shit. <laughs> it's a fucking... Get out of here. It's, no, it's, it's no. a Chuck E. Cheese run by demons. Yeah, well, I also don't like the nightmare version of Charles Entertainment Cheese. That place looks like a shit heap, and there is no Chuck E. Cheese that looks like that, dude. Where's the ball pit? Where's the fucking I'm sure ski it's in ball? There. I'm covered in blood. <clears throat> yeah. You just didn't see it in the trailer. Well, no, They're rolling saw... human heads up the ski ball machine. I did notice there is a uh, fucking a, a shot of some boobs being dumped <laughs> out just gratuitously yeah, in there. because it's a so... great horror yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, I'm... I don't know. I'm not gonna fuck. Nick, watch you watched it. Yeah, you History of uh, Swearing. I did. It was all right. It was interesting. It's good if you just want to hear Nick Cage just drop a bunch of fucks like and shits. What is he talking about? Raising the bar and setting the bar, and passing the bar. <laughs> the level. Yeah. The limit. Uh huh. No. He. I watched the first one and it was about he the word the bar, fuck. Dude. And I did learn that in the 14th century, you had to go to the king if you wanted to fuck, and the king would like write you up a piece of paper. Give you your paper, so here you go. I hereby create you can fuck. Jesus. Thir 1300s blue. Fornicate yeah. under the cool, actually, command of the king, I yeah. believe. Oh, is that's where it came from? from? Yeah. That's awesome. Huh. Second episode was shit. Yeah, I didn't get that far. It was okay. But, like I said, it was cool to watch Nicolas Cage just go unhinged there for a little bit. It looked like he had a good hairpiece for that show. He did. He had a really good hairpiece. I was piece. impressed with the hair. Yeah. Fuck's pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty cool. Where it's it's only twenty cool. minutes. It's worth a watch. Mm. Okay. I'll consider it. But yeah. I mean, we're gonna give you're gonna maybe watch Willie's Wonderland. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we'll see what it's on. It's gonna be in the movie theaters. <laughs> it's gonna be on Red Tube, dude. Yeah, yeah. 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 In the theater. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this Next. looked like a Netflix special. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tony, you son of a bitch. You Bill. Clever son of a bitch. <laughs> Bill. I think he's watching it right now. No joke. Is he back there? Yeah, he's back there. I think he's watching it right now. Bill. So Attack of the Titan is actually <laughs> the the best uh, anime out right now. <laughs> it, it's much better than Naruto. Not a lot of people would say it, but. What's up, dude? The fuck is this? Fucking Attack on Titan? Uh -huh. It's fucking sick, dude. <laughs> what is it, though? So it's a uh, anime about so these uh, titans, which are just essentially big, dumb, like 15 meter tall humans. Meters? It's in meters. It's in meters. 15 meter tall humans like come through and they try to eradicate all of uh, the human. Ty's not even giving it a fucking chance. I can't. <laughs> Is How it much? better than Avatar The Last Airbender? <laughs> How much uh, anime porn do you watch? Uh, <laughs> show. Show. show? Uh, probably. Oh. 
It's been a while since I've seen Avatar. There's though. no way it's better than the sky, people. Yeah, of not. Airbender. That, Bill, is it better than the Connor, real? how are you going to sign with that? The fucking that sky not. people. Mitt says not. I don't believe it. What's the main character's name? Aaron. Aaron Yeager. Hate that. Ooh, Jaeger bombs. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Is he fighting kaiju? I mean, pretty much. It's it's like if human were kaiju, like they just come in and like wreck down the walls and try to eat all the people. You know, it's 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 intense. What's he got? Awesome, light, dude. He's got a light light. Well, I didn't there. I didn't fucking come in here and want to present this. You fucking. <laughs> you put it on the internet, dude. Isn't, cool, you know. And I got a lot of people. I got fucking twenty six people right there. They're like, you know what? It, it's a pretty good show. Yeah, dude, yeah. You got ratioed. <laughs> yeah. Bill, isn't this the <laughs> same <laughs> anime that was trending because it was so bad? Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, shit. And everybody wow. was bitching about it. With all the fucking context you just presented, let me think back to every trending report I've ever seen in my life. I have no fucking Whoa. Thing, man. Oh. Holy shit. Yes, dude. You guys hate each other. Calm down Fuck. back there. I mean, there's, <clears throat> there's, I'll, there's, top, there's a top three anime. <clears throat> Obviously, Airbender's in there. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Duh. Pokemon. Mm. Oh, yeah. And Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. yeah. If it's not those. those. If it's not those. Special consideration. Throw Dig- it down. Digimon. To <laughs> Special Digimon. consideration. Digimon. Digital monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I was a big Digimon kid, dude. No way. No Fuck way. way. No way, I fucking dude. hate every single one of you. <laughs> Bill, go play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> 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 Yu-Gi-Oh also around yeah. the top ten. <laughs> Next, I'll Zed sent this in. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a thermos that you <laughs> you carry your burrito around. In. <laughs> Do he they, was pretty pumped about do it. Do they verify, like, hey, do you weigh at least 400 pounds <laughs> when you're trying to buy one of these? That's how you determine what size uh, container you should yeah, have. Yeah, holder. Yep. Zito comes in with weight. a thermos <laughs> holding a burrito. Not going to be surprised. We're going to have to have a talk with him. I <laughs> enjoy this yeah. more than him. Try. Remember when he tried to pawn off that he was sharing a hot soup in his yeah. thermos with all his friends? <laughs> Acting like he was fucking working construction. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just bring him a hot soup. <laughs> hey, you guys bring your cups today, or... <laughs> Uh, next. <laughs> oh, no. sad oh. stuff here. Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas. Mm. Call it quits. Uh, Nick also sent in a, or informed me, informed me of a picture of the garbage man going through Ben's trash. Hell yeah. And there was a life-size cutout of her. Oh, no. That he threw away. Damn. Like Get a, out. Like a movie that thing. garbage man had any fucking gall. And didn't have rocks for brains, he'd put that thing on eBay immediately. Yeah, because yeah. that would go for a mint. I mean, this relationship never was going to work. Well, I love. Ben. I don't know. I love the age difference. There are two different points in their careers. You're telling me a fucking hot young sex pot like Anna de Armas <laughs> didn't want the fucking old chunky booze bag excuse anymore? Me, excuse me. Exactly. Anna de Armas. <laughs> Anna de Armas. Anna de Armas. I mean. <sighs> I'm pulling. I'm pulling for you, Ben. Sad. I mean, I saw a picture of them on the beach. It looked like they were in love. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you just want to see love succeed. Yeah, sometimes you do. I guess he at least got a couple good baloney strokes out there. <laughs> yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so it's not all lost. Yeah. You know? It's going to go back to the Ben that's hanging outside his house smoking that cigarette, sadly. Mm-hmm. As long as he doesn't go back to Jet. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Was Feed that his ben. poison? Was that his poison? <laughs> Some would say. I think it was his fault. It wasn't the cigarettes, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> or do you think Do you think he was just fed up with it? Maybe. Because there was that picture of him carrying all that Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. and he looked pretty pissed off. He was like, we're Dunkin' every day for this bitch. I get some fucking help! <laughs> Jesus! Every morning! I can see that. Yeah, until he walks back in and he gets his fucking baloney sucked on. <laughs> yeah, well. And make you forget about who's getting Dunkin' every morning real quick. <laughs> yeah, well, he can walk into any Dunkin' and have Anna Day Dunkin' behind the counter fucking stroking his pole, you know? True. He's probably moving on, moving up. Who doesn't love Dunkin'? <laughs> Not me. You don't love Dunkin', dude? I love Dunkin'. Okay. Dunkin' is very good. Get good your, donut. It's your fucking baloney slumped while you're having a Dunkachino. Oh, oh. I mean, he's definitely put a chocolate, chocolate glaze around his penis. <laughs> Who wants one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I was also just thinking about putting the donut around the penis. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice thought. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, so everyone in the office now has an Oculus, pretty much. Except for you. Yeah, I'm not everyone. Mine's in the mail. 
Oh, you're so different Can't and edgy. Wait. Why aren't you getting one, Tone? I told you earlier why. <laughs> Tell everyone. No. It's Tell them. It's personal reasons. Tell them. I got a lot of shit to do, dude. I don't got time right now. No, that ain't there. it. You got all the time in the world. You're watching 20 shows a night. Not anymore, dude. I'm paying the ass right now. Yeah. I also don't have fucking $400 laying around. Hey, you're 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 <laughs> I'm too busy paying the house. I ain't got time for video games. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I could look down Is this? And, ha- and have Anna de Armas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this because of Juju? No, Juju doesn't do that. You can't all in good faith. <laughs> Talk shit mm. on a guy. Well, no, I about mean, playing video games while you you're doing just, it yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, we found a show or a video game the other day with the Oculus where you're storming the beaches of Normandy, and not one of you have downloaded and played it. It's, it's a lot. It takes a lot of work to download it, and I haven't quite figured out how to download it and transfer it over to the Oculus yet. Mm. For being quite honest, which is what I like to do, unlike you. I'm not hiding your true reasons. I'm just for not, not getting the Oculus. You guys are doing these games where like you have to sweat and stuff like that. It's just not something that I'm going to do. Why well, not? Fair dude. enough. I need. A, I need. I thought you liked the box. I do when I'm working out, not enjoying a nice fucking video, stimulating video game. So you're combining the experience. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, More. You know. <laughs> it's fulfilling. Nah. When I box, I like to hit the bag. I like to feel something. Well, you're feeling that fucking guy hit the mat. Dude. Listen, I want to yeah. get an Oculus, but I want to get it for shooting. You can do that, too. They got tons that. of shooting. Mm-hmm. They got that. I want to fucking play the most dangerous game. I want to be in the woods hunting other humans. You can could, you could play that game. They got a game where you're hunting other humans. <laughs> when you want to be in the Hunger Games, dude? Yes. Yes, that, that game would be, would be awesome. awesome. That, yeah. would be that would be really cool. Except you'd have to stay in the Oculus for like 17 <laughs> straight days. That's Hunger Games, baby. Yeah. You might get addicted to Second Life, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I probably would. It's a risk you're willing to take. I'd probably make a Second Life where I have the same job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can fly around. <laughs> Mitt, did you like any of the Oculus games, George or did Schnitt. you not get past fucking getting sucked up on there? Because I know you enjoyed <laughs> yeah. doing that. I honestly did not get past the uh, getting sucked off for my, uh, oh, my, oh, my friend's get, Oculus oh, one time. Oh, Get to take it. I respect that. Good for man. you. Good for you. Who'd you? Who? Who was doing the sucking? Oh, I don't know. Some girl that was uh, on a piano. It was pretty hilarious. She Pe- opened up playing a piano. That's yeah, awesome. It was awesome. Hey, mate. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> that song's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty good at the piano. <laughs> Whoa, that's my dick. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna suck it? <laughs> oh, okay. Is it, <laughs> this like is a, sick. Is it like a choose your path, Mitt? <laughs> it was not a choose your path. <laughs> like a bandersnatch. Yeah. Like a bandersnatch. Oh. Grab left hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I have to grab right ass cheek. That'd be awesome. Did Fucking you, pick her up and put her on top of the grand piano. Did you get to choose your penis in it? Like your celebrity penis, man? Yeah. Like were you Peter Norris? <laughs> were you fucking yeah. James Dean? Mm, Johnny no, Sins? Who were you? some random white guy. I was just some random white... There was just some random white wiener there. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. All right, it's worth it. Uh, See, Tony, you're missing out. That's what we're trying to tell you. Right, Tony sold. <laughs> uh, next. Oh, shit. Peaky Blinders will end. Uh, Peaky Blinders' final season is, is coming up. Damn. And then they're going to finish it with a movie after. Like that. I did, too. I hope I hope it's good. I, I hope it definitely ends in the movie. Like Why not two? Saying? Why not two movies? See, nah. that's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about. I want a fucking ending. Told me just by order of told the me, Peaky Yeah, Tom and Shelby will not and will not do a second. Movie. Why? Vin's doing two. Yeah. Well, everybody's doing two now. It's a cool thing to do. Thomas is built a little different. I still haven't started this. Really? Mm-mm. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's only six episodes a season though, so you'll burn through it. I suggest. Yeah. Huh? I suggest. All right. For sure. I'm in. I'm, all, I'm almost done with season one of the Americans. By the way, mm. fantastic show. Did you ever we, get back to Quantico? Fortunately, I just couldn't get back to it. I just couldn't do it. Just thanks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Americans is a great show. Yeah. Yeah, it is. If we decide if it's Killian or Cillian. Killian. I think it's Killian. It yeah. is Killian. Okay. Yeah. 
I mean, I just get lost in those baby blues. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's cigarettes for me, man. Fuck. I mean, I, it's hard for me to watch that show because <laughs> I'll, go, so I'll go to the gas station, grab a fucking Mr. Fog, head right back, yeah. and just start hitting that thing. <laughs> you know? Too British for me. Just too British. That's what I heard, that you have to turn subtitles on because you can't understand anything they're saying. Some parts. They do run, in a certain, run into a certain sect yeah. of British. It depends how boozed who are kind of up. Like, who are kind of like the Pikes. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yes. From mm-hmm. uh, Snatch. Yep. Mm. Pixies. Pixies. <laughs> Those guys also. <laughs> <laughs> like, You're not Russian Pike? <laughs> Warner Bros. is eyeing Tom Holland or Timothy... Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. <laughs> Chalamet. To play Willy Wonka in Warner Bros. Wonka. Do we need another Wonka? Yeah. yeah. Nope. No. Nope. The answer is no. yes, we do. No. no. Oh, With these no. two? One of these two? I don't want. I think I don't want Chalamet would fucking knock it out of the park. Yeah, I don't want to ruin Holland. See, yeah. I think both of them would, but I don't uh, think we need Wonka, how about Chug Goose? <laughs> <Just, laughs> I want to hear where that comes from, too. <laughs> See, is it a story about like Willy Wonka growing up? It looks like it's how Wonka potentially acquires the chocolate. Becomes factory. Wonka. Okay, so I, I am can, in on. I that. get on board with that. Yeah, That's a cool I'm premise. in on this. It just hit me when I read. Oh yeah, it's just called Wonka. Yeah, yeah. I need. I need something to get the, the. I didn't like the Johnny Depp one. Let's get rid of the uh, the creepy chocolate factory. Good day, sir. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> I mean, anytime you could shoehorn that yeah. into, I mean. Oh, yeah. Get we'll that see. tattooed on your chest. The scumbag, <laughs> scumbag grandpa makes an appearance. I wouldn't be mad. Grandpa Joe licking that wall like he's <laughs> fucking licking grandma's clit. <laughs> would be hilarious <laughs> if like a young Wonka like beat the bag out of Grandpa Joe, yeah. and that's why he was like, "All right, I'm just never gonna leave dead that beat. again." Yeah, oh. <laughs> you know, Grandpa Joe, deadbeat, <laughs> drunk, <laughs> booze hound. <laughs> What? If you have some time, watch that fuck. Watch Rome just <laughs> eviscerate Grandpa Joe. It is a great watch. Uh, next. I bet you do. Deadbeat. Next. <laughs> a blind man has uh, regained his sight after receiving the first implant worldwide of an artificial cornea developed by Israeli startup Corneat Vision. Wonderful news, which will impact millions of lives. Yeah, this is... Sweet. What yeah. they left out here was that the first thing this man saw was actually a naked Lena Dunham in an episode of Girls. He immediately plunged a pair of scissors uh, right into his implant. No. What is this? <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. You've been fucking sitting on that one? <laughs> Did you see this article? Or? No, I just thought I was just thought about what is the most disgusting thing I could see. If can I you, just yeah, you, right can you imagine that this poor guy's probably been waiting to see a naked woman all his life, then he just sees a fucking woman built like a melted candle? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Good uh, lord! Uh, heck, well, ah! I guess this answers the question whether you'd rather be blind from nine to five or cut off your thumbs. Yeah, true. Game's over now. Yeah, no more of those. Uh uh-uh. uh Get fucking artificial corneas. <laughs> That's pretty dope, though. I mean, it is. we need to fucking keep tabs on the Israeli military now. I was right? just going to say, they're going to have fucking see-through vision. Yeah, They've been uh, public enemy number one for me ever since World War Z came out. <laughs> True. Because they're, they're expecting anything. They are ready. You know? Sagan was a fucking warrior. <laughs> she fucking snapped it right at the elbow. Dude. Yeah. I mean, anyone who can survive playing. And then she like scored that. fucking 75 goals the next season for the Dallas Stars. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Tina say again. <laughs> Tina say. Savage, dude. Oh. At the fucking Skywalker arm. Plus, yeah. plus, you don't just volunteer for the Israeli army. Like, it's, you're in it. It's and mandatory. It's right. yeah. Fucking Gal was in the Israeli army. Yeah, she That's right. fucking leading a lot, couple of their special ops teams, actually. Yes. A bunch of those uh, people came and spoke mm-hmm. to my high school one time, actually. Isn't that what they're called? Uh, I believe so. Israeli special forces came to your house? Yeah, like 15 of them. They Why? They were all animals. How'd they get into the country, <laughs> dude? Uh, they were going on like a tour through the United States. Like explaining, like spreading the culture of Israel. It's pretty sweet. Oh, you were just divulging information to Mossad? <laughs> we weren't divulging. Look, I don't work for the KGB, <laughs> Tony. All right? It was fucking... They were just coming by and explaining... Look, when we were your age, we weren't... Bunch of pussies hanging out in the classroom. <laughs> you know, we were shooting guns. 
great perspective. Was it like Sasha Baron Cohen and Who is America? Yes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, actually. They stopped at our school, then they went to Harvard and made fun of those nerds. It's pretty cool. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Who's you, who are you most worried about? What, as far as countries go? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick China. Uh, oh, as number because of one. The numbers? Uh, no, because of how quiet they've been lately. <laughs> I don't like it one Slaying bit. Slaying in the weeds? Don't like it one bit. Like a snake. Mm-hmm. They have been laying in wait. Uh-huh. Cut off the head. Exactly. The body will die. And, you know, there's been some other things, of course. Does anyone else have any countries that they're worried about right now? Mm. No. Okay. I don't think feel so. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As long as we got the fucking... United States military at all back. <laughs> we'll be all right. Next. As long as we still got guys out there listening to fucking Toby Keith while they're emptying the clip, <laughs> we're going to be just fine. Hell fucking yeah. my old man's that old man. <laughs> fucking <laughs> burning through a clip. <laughs> and spend his life living off the land. <laughs> like fucking every day is Independence Day. And luckily for us, every single person in Coronado is doing yeah, that right now. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of Toby Keith. Yeah, speaking of and, and fucking the great country of United States, mm-hmm. uh, red solo cups are often br- brought back as souvenirs for travelers visiting the United States. Damn, you were quick with the screenshot in this one. 57 seconds this yeah, tweet dude, was up for. Popped Damn. up. Yes! I, I read it. Oh, that's really cool. Fucking screenshot. Is it real, though? Because this Uberfax account is highly questionable. It is facts. highly questionable, but... Have you ever seen a solo cup in another country? Because I have not. Mm. Canada's got them. Well, that's, Bingo. That's, I mean, that's our brothers-in-law. Pretty sure Mexico has them as well. I'm a, <laughs> I've seen them in Narcos. <laughs> <laughs> to other countries. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a red yeah, solo cup. Minsuri would be the guy to yeah, ask. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever. And I've fucking been all over. I don't think I've ever seen a solo cup outside of the States. What about oh, the Saudis? What are they drinking there's out of? A, there's... <laughs> Fine China. There's an article nice. here. It says people from other Brits. countries are dogging America for for the Red Solo Cup. No, I don't like that one bit. Well, well, these what? fucking stooges are the ones bringing them back as souvenirs, so who's who's laughing now? <laughs> yeah. Have they heard the song? Yeah. yeah. Dear Red, Red Solo Cup. There's a Reddit thread about it right here. It's, you fucking I fear you up. It's called Ask it's Europe. Time to party. Dear Europeans, what do you use instead of plastic Red Solo Cups at college parties? Let's see what the uh, when they go to university. Yeah, well, go to uni. You know, beer. Uh, fucking what is it? Oktoberfest. They have guys with uncut penises who are getting, <laughs> <laughs> who are getting coke snorted yeah. off their dongs just in public. So, <laughs> those English are fucking butt chugging tea. Yeah. Like there's nobody's business. Exactly. We need solo cups. You know. Yeah, I mean, the Americans on this Reddit thread are just getting trashed for fucking drinking out solo. Cups. Fuck them. A uh, solo cup company is from Lake Forest, Illinois. I don't get much more American than that, guy. Yeah. Damn it. They said they do have plastic cups. They're usually white or see-through. Those fucking Mickey Mouse ones that always crack. No, the tiny ones. <laughs> yeah. That, like, kids have at fucking lemonade stands. Yeah, piece of shit lemonade stands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of mad we're not painting these cups red, white, and blue now. Should be. Yeah, we should. Hmm. Probably cost too much. Hmm. I like the yellow ones. Discrepancies. You like the yellow ones. Should also start dumping them all in Europe. Excuse me. They stand there. Yeah. Instead of trash island out the ocean, let's take all these solo cups and just dump them right Should on Europe. Go dump them in a fucking Baltic Sea and see how yeah. much they like it. Yeah. yeah. Pricks. Yeah. Jesus. Maybe wash up on the shores of the Red Sea. Oh, Maybe. Hey. Red solo cups. Here. Fucking throw them in the Mediterranean. See how much you like it now. Yeah. Nah. We don't want to. That water's so. We don't want to taint Italy. Next. I don't know what this means. Ooh, Bill. Rockstar has filed a new patent for smart NPC tech that might be for GTA 6. What is smart NPC tech? Well, uh, that's Non-playable character, right? Oh, wow. What is that? Ooh, so that means that the, the CPUs will be yeah. much higher tech. A neural net processor, a learning computer. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Zito sent me this with uh, a bunch of shark emojis. I did see the protagonist shark, 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 will be a female. Huh? Really? Yes. It's, it's I a possibility. It was an option, yeah. One of them. Oh, so you're going to be able to create your own person. You can play so. GTA with Laura Croft. 
Exactly. So you can dump them at. Exactly. If you're low on funds and need more guns. Suck on my boobs. Here, take a boob. <laughs> prostitute. You know, you can prostitute yourself. It's Whoa. wild. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Need fucking ammo for my pistol. Is it POV? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Is it POV? Oh, yeah. Is it POV? Oh yeah, you can always switch it. You've always been able to. It's J O I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to fucking type out the POV J O I. Yeah. VR. Mm-hmm. Play it on your Oculus. The more letters there are, the better it gets. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well said. HDMI. GTA Six is going to be DVDA. Ooh. Ooh. GTA 6 J-O-I D-V-D-A huh? yeah, I don't know either I know what it is Oh, it's, I think if it's double 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 you, you, <laughs> <laughs> You've never stumbled into a DVDA hole Connor? No never I'll bring it up though <laughs> Don't <laughs> I'll bring it up Don't do it while anyone else is around uh, well, who, who cares It's a weird <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going into oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Going a lot in. of hot dogs going into holes. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Like a bukkake. Here, let's see. Uh, double double uh, What's next? Double V. Uh-huh. Double A. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> you know, I get it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we were just moving on. Next. Nestle, this is even better now what after, after what happened an hour ago. Nestle recalls 762,000 pounds of pepperoni and pepperoni hot pockets. Uh, Bill was eating one an hour ago. <laughs> yes, he are was. Are you serious? Yes, yes, he was. Bill, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, we are clear on my front. This is uh, only for the batch that would expire February of 2022. I got November 21. We got a good batch. Good to go. Okay. There is, girl. I looked it up though, there have been shards of glass and pieces of hard plastic found in uh, Hot Pockets. So you might Wait, want to double check. That's actually that. probably healthier for you than the shit that's inside the actual Hot Pockets. Sex, I was just about to say, secondly, Hot Pockets don't expire until 2022 at this point? Some? It was kind of, uh, I've had that box in there for about six months. And we're still November of November. 2022. Jesus. Yeah. Good lord. Bill, how many Hot Pockets do you have at your house? How many now? lunches do you eat here, dude? Uh, two to three. It depends. Fair. Got to keep that furnace burning. How many Hot Pockets do you eat a year, Bill? A year? Yeah. That is, uh, I don't know if I can even formulate that number for you. Right What's now. your favorite Hot Pocket? It is definitely uh, wow. this one, the garlic uh, pepperoni. Mm. I'm oh, a ham man. and cheese guy. You're a ham and cheese guy? It's mm-hmm. the worst Hot I like pocket. ham and cheese. I love it. I like the pepperoni. I like the pizza. Maple? <laughs> 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 Meatball, yeah. I like that one too. They have a uh there's a like Philly Chi one, I believe. Philly oh, yeah? cheese steak that's not it's not too shabby. Really? There's it sounds a, like dog There's shit. a chicken no, one. There's a chicken one with a white sauce in there. Chicken Alfredo? Yeah, I think yeah, is it? Chicken Alfredo pocket. It's pretty good, dude. Never had it. Might have to go to the grocery store. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Fuck that place. Have you tried Zito's mom? Oh, oh. <laughs> next. Just wanted to give everyone a heads up. All American is back on, um, in case anyone missed it. Gumpy, you good with that? Go Hawks, baby. Gumpy, is he going to Iowa? Uh, that looks the, like her. I've never seen All American. You've never seen All American? No. Oh, Gumpy, you'd love it. You would love it. The football's terrible. Well, <laughs> not so fast. Okay, <laughs> there's some pretty electric hitch rats that they can run in that fucking show. <laughs> Half the team's. What is it? All? What is no it shirt on? and no pads on, no helmet. <laughs> while the other team, is, it's a wild. The first couple seasons, they didn't they didn't have a lot of um, outside instruction as from the football world. Didn't have a football consultant, but they the did get it right eventually. Yeah, the kids got a fucking Devonte Adams inside release now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, awesome. pretty good. It's pretty good. Next, do you think that kid like trained with Tyreek Hill in the yeah. off season? No, I actually do. He can do those things where he can just. Lean all the way down to the ground. Mm-hmm. Sick. Michael Jackson? No, no, no. Like when they're on their knees and they like, someone's holding the back of their legs and they just lean all the way down, their chest like touch the uh, floor and they bring themselves back. You don't think MJ could do that? I don't know. Does he have strong hamstrings? <laughs> <laughs> did he? Dun, 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 I assume so, dude. I knew he had strong casts, but I didn't know about his hammy. Is anyone interested in this exciting idea where you uh, no <laughs> sit facing each other like a fucking train on an airplane? Yeah, it's terrible. Never. Do they have any sort of sense that this might be bad for COVID? Yeah. 
I'm not fucking buying a plane ticket where I'd stare someone in the eyes the whole <laughs> oh, goddamn time. Could you imagine? Time. I couldn't. Just An economy up. is cramped enough. Jesus. Staring some dribble and stooge for six hours. Yeah. That. It would be funny, though, if it was like four of your boys and you were going to Vegas That'd be or cool. something, right? Yeah, but instead, with everyone's luck, you'll end up across from like fucking Fred Armisen and Euro yeah. Trip. Yeah, what kind of <laughs> ah, dream world are you living in? Gump? Sorry for being optimistic. We're right? all going to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I think Vegas might be the trip to get old fucking degenerate gump out. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. As soon as, this th- soon as this thing's over. Yeah. Maybe we will. We'll sit face to face on the flight. Take a, I take a trip love to the Vegas. Desert. Me too. I fucking love and By the time this thing's over, though, we're all going to be like 52. So. True. <laughs> <laughs> That's just things. not true, true. dude. I mean, hey. Hey, there's a different Stay side optimistic. of Vegas that's what we can do. That's true. That's true. Next. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Florida man. Looks like a cartoon. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Actually, I think he just put the lemon dye in his on his eyebrows and hair and just sat outside in the sun for 18 hours. Who's 37 is arrested for kidnapping 27 people and forcing them to play Yahtzee for 36 hours straight. God loves Yahtzee. We, 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 <laughs> I mean, want to watch people play Yahtzee. <laughs> Twenty. How do you kidnap twenty seven people? I have no Seriously, idea. This guy's skilled. Should have read the article, but I didn't. I mean, this dude's got a lot of Coach JB in him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he shaves his head. Whoa, he seriously dude. looks like. Guy's trying to reconnect with his All right, daughter. You fucking slapdicks! You're gonna play Yachty for the next thirty six <laughs> hours. I don't want to fucking hear anything about it. Can you, you imagine how just... insane they're gonna be when they hear fucking. <laughs> Next fucking That's right Rest of their life Can you imagine being the uh, Like the 27th person coming in there <laughs> Alright what are we doing in here Hey what, what? Wait he kidnapped all of you You guys are all he had to. He had to have done this at one of those Ukrainian porn houses That Zito always talks about Oh okay just picks him up Threatens to call the IRS He had to have just walked into a place and <laughs> The IRS <laughs> Hey listen I'll fucking have you guys audit it You right? in the, uh, you illegal hookers. Yeah. <laughs> he had What's that? No W two. <laughs> walked into a place, turned around. You hear the door lock, and he just turns around and smiles. You guys are in for some fun. <laughs> you're, you were for Yachty, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a real stickler. For Who you sent this in? I think Zito. Zito sent this in. I think so. Oh, it's fake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. It's full shit. Yeah, it's not real. Well, CBS it would news. be. Uh, this guy's ho- got a yep. hell of a There's look. a JP next to it. Jose Perez sent this in you. Classic Z. Thank you, Z. Thank you, Z. <laughs> I don't want to live in a Joe Perez. It did seem <laughs> it did seem odd, but you never know. Well, I just wanted a little backstory. Come on, Z. How'd you find out it was fake? You Google it. Google Florida Man Yahtzee. <laughs> and it just says fake. <laughs> yes, sir, there's a lot of saying it's fake. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just uh, one page. Let's put the picture back up. Back up. Does this guy look like he can seriously fucking kidnap 27 people and hold them for 36 yes, hours? Yes, he does. Yeah, he looks like fucking uh, what's his name he, from? Uh, don't he underestimate. He looks like he's made of fucking Play-Doh. <laughs> don't <laughs> underestimate how much meth can do to a he person. He does look like he's. It could have been a uh, what's it called a uh, Wallace and Crow. a Waco situation. It's yeah. like an Irishman who's been in the sun for three hours. Give this man an Uzi, and there's no telling how many people yeah. he kidnapped. Yeah, Give him playing cards in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I that's can't all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Zito would ruin the integrity of the fod. We got a couple you in can't. there. I can't. Come on, it's disheartening. What do you mean? What are you saying, Connor? Got a couple what? I mean, we had a couple in there from Zeet. I mean, he sent a bunch. Oh, he's of, active. So he it was is active tough. It is tough when you miss one. <laughs> yeah, he's still batting. Excuse yeah, me. I guess if you're volume shooting. Yeah, he took mm-hmm. a lot of swings. I don't know. He sent, he sent a lot of this week. He was he was pumped about this episode. Yeah. It's a shame he wasn't here. Damn shame. Duty calls. He'd be so pumped about the uh, NPC HU characters. He would have been pumped about this. Yes, he yeah. would. I believe he sent it in. Oh, really? He did. Oh. With a bunch of shark emojis. So, did, so you did mention that. So, yeah. Unfortunately, so, actually, I mean, deja vu. Here. So he, yeah, he was. About <laughs> it. He would have really enjoyed that list of uh, all those deadly creatures as well. Freeze! Yeah. IRS. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got to call the IRS for the uh, identity theft thing. That's why I got, uh, got IRS on the brain, you know? Still got to call them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because some scumbag in Rhode Island's been getting all my stimulus checks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stole my identity, Can't. dude. <laughs> yeah, I do have to call. <laughs> running up my charges. You're never going to get that, dude. Never. Never. Has this guy just bombed your credit score, <laughs> too? I don't even want to know what my credit score is. You, you think have this guy no has a credit score? <laughs> yeah, true. Well, he's got a vehicle. You need a credit card to have a credit score. <laughs> Connor, I know you're paying some guy signed into my PayPal and paid himself 25 bucks, so you know we're in the exact same boat. Yeah, well, Bill, it wasn't fucking 1600 bucks, all right? Yeah, but it's, you know, it's the same situation. No, yeah. Bill, you were crying while it was me. Somebody hacked my PayPal. I didn't know they took 25 bucks. He said you made it sound like they took drained thousands out of your account. <laughs> the, uh, the, the guy sent himself 25 bucks. I sent him an email that said, uh, way to go, should have sent more, and he said, okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wow, you got a hacker after you. Yeah. Wow. Hope you got firewall set up on all fronts. How did you send him a message? Uh, whenever you PayPal someone, you can see the email of the person that you sent. Oh, this to. guy. Have you sent it to the proper authorities? Uh, PayPal itself, yeah, yeah, I did report it. Yeah, go get that. Well, I mean, is this guy going to be locked up? <laughs> if, I, if I know Bill, this guy will pay with his yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is buried in a well inside Bill's basement. Bill, I saw a lot of people. <laughs> like in the basket. Yeah. I saw a lot of people replying to the pod that they did enjoy that uh, freak show. The, show night, the Night were... Stalker is a very good show. It is. Like it is very graphic, but it is a very good show. I mean, the guy looks like Soy Chet, though, so it scares <laughs> me a little bit. Right, I'm out. Nice. It does. All right, that's it. What is today? Today's Wednesday. Yeah. Friday, we have a special treat brought to you by Nick Moroto. We have Tasty Treat Friday. Tasty Treat Friday. You don't say. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> brought to you by you. What am I bringing? Can you remember? I obviously don't. The suggestion you made. No. I, He's just playing us. You want us to do. You want oh. us to predict the deaths of human beings <laughs> for 2021. Oh, yeah. uh, yes, the death pool. Friday. Back. Because we need time to actually prepare it's for that. Back. We will each be picking a few human beings under the age of 80 mm-hmm. who we think will be dying in 2021. <laughs> Spoiler alert, they're going to live. Yeah, good news. Yeah. No one has ever died from the uh, death pool. Good for us. Because we don't wish death upon you don't want no. that. You don't want that on your conscience? No. 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 No one wants to win. No. It's kind of a reverse hex, actually. Mm-hmm. Some people say these people have the best health they've had in years. The kiss of life, really. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people were also rooting that things don't open back up because if they don't, March Sadness 2.0 is about to come back around. Ooh. We are awfully close. My God. Hey, now. <laughs> Look out. That's what started this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> March Sadness. S D D E O. S D D E O. It will be back. Fuck, in that it. was a year ago, dude. Oh, yeah, how mad is Foxy going to be if it goes on another run? Oh, it has to. Well, that grandstand and stooge. He'll well, be crying. Last year, SDDEO was a fucking underdog. They have a championship pedigree now. They yeah, do. Exactly. And I'm not worried about any sort of contest in March because I'm out there working, doing stuff for the company while you guys are in here just jerking off. <laughs> Plus, Foxy won't care because he'll hitch his wagon to the other favorite on the other side of the true. bracket, you know, like a true sellout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll be back Friday with all those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not, the, not the March Sadness, but no, no, no. death, songs, yeah. and fun. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, yes. And if you want to yes. send in anything for to be featured on this show, send at, the, at the pod PMI. That's right. On Twitter and Instagram. DM. Send it in. Or don't DM. Put it publicly. We'll see it either way. Yeah. Up to you. Up to you. See you Friday. See you Friday. See you Friday. Thank you. See you Friday. Thank you, listeners. Thank you, listeners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.